In Formula E, the race isn't a certain number of laps, it's by time. So there's a 45 minute race, we then do an extra lap, and that lap is where the chequered flag comes out. Energy is linked to lap time very strongly in Formula E, so if we want to go faster, we can burn more energy, but you might run out of energy in the race. Now we have to work out, well, how many laps are we going to do? In our practice sessions, we'll work out what's a rough lap time for energy save lap. Max efficiency. It's very easy if halfway through the 39th lap, the 45 minute point ends. It's going to be 39 laps plus that extra one, a short race. We are on the short strategy. The difficult bit comes where if the 45 minute point cuts a lap right at the end of it. If you go slightly quicker through all of those laps, you might just move over to the 40th lap at that 45 minute point. You've just made the race one lap longer. That's a long race. Efficiency is very important. You have to watch the lead car and you've got to make a little bit of a punt on how you think that person will behave. It's a game of chess where you're predicting how other players will play the game.